Ephesians 4 verses 4 to 6 One body and one spirit, even as also you were called in one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. In Ephesians 4 Paul first speaks of the one body and then of the one spirit, the one Lord, and the one God, the Father. This indicates that the triune God, the Father, the Son, and the Spirit has been developed in the body. With the Lord Jesus we have one faith and one baptism. Faith joins us to the Lord. When we believe in the Lord, we enter into an organic union with Him. In this life union we are joined to the Lord as one spirit. Faith joins us to the Lord because we have believed into Him. Baptism has two aspects. On the one hand, we have been baptized into Christ. On the other hand, we have been terminated from Adam. We were born in Adam. But by baptism we were transferred out of Adam into Christ. Therefore, negatively, baptism signifies termination, and positively, it signifies union. By faith and baptism we have been transferred out of Adam into Christ. Through the divine dispensing of the divine trinity we all need to be filled in our spirit with the spirit as the divine wine. If we are filled in our spirit in this way, then we will speak to one another in psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, we will be singing and psalming with our heart to the Lord, and we will be giving thanks at all times for all things in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to our God and Father. God the Son is the power within us, God the Father realized in the Son is the armor upon us, and God the Spirit is the sword, who is the Word of God. The fact that the Spirit is the Word of God is our sword indicates that we fight by speaking. We all need to learn to speak the Word of God. We all need to speak the word and present the truth that we have heard. This speaking of the divine word is the sword that slays the enemy. As a corporate warrior empowered inwardly and covered outwardly, we should now use the sword to fight against God's enemy. Praise the Lord!